My name is Louis, Louis Moreau, and I'm a developer relation engineer with Agimples. In the second part of this workshop, I'm going to show you how to use Linux Python SDK to run object detection. In the first video, we've seen how to train your model and to run the live inference directly on your device. Now I'm going to show you how to go deeper and integrate the Linux Python SDK so you can integrate that in a broader application, such as a web application. For those who haven't assisted the first, uh, the first video, I'm just going to say a few words of, uh, about Edgeables. So Edgeables is the world leading embedding machine learning platform, and it helps you accomplish a wide variety of machine learning tasks, such as uh, regression, uh, sound classification, image classification, and object detection that we've seen in the first video. You can import data from any sensors and you can deploy your model to almost any devices. What is really important is that you maintain control over your data and your IP the whole time. And we also have a total explainability in the blocks that we use. And most of the blocks are actually fully open source and you can use that. So actually what we provide is a set of tools for engineers to build those machine learning pipelines. And Edge Impulse Studio is an online platform that lets you create and build that, that pipeline. So you can collect from there that directly from your devices and with connected sensors. You can design actually your impulse, which is a mix of digital signal processing and alert training blocks. You can then test your impulse on the live data or that are present in your test data sets. And then you can deploy your machine learning model on a wide variety of targets. Either you can download and build directly in uh, Edgeable Studio um, ready to go firmware, meaning that it's a binary or an exadocimal file that you can directly flash your device, or we provide libraries so that you can integrate that into your application. And I'm going to show you how to use the Linux Python SDK so that you can use the Linux executable that we provide so you can integrate that in your or in, in a web page. That being said, let's get started and and let's move to the workshop. The first part of this video, I've shown you how to use uh, the Edge Impulse Linux CLI to run the object detection model on your Edge devices. Now, I'm going to show you how to use the Python, Linux Python SDK. The Linux CLI provides built-in tools, but you cannot integrate the Linux executable directly into your application. And this is what I'm interested in showing you. So feel free to clone this uh, public project. So it's person detection. You can find it at serialeligible.com slash public slash 4047.9 slash latest. I've already cloned that project onto uh, my account. Feel free to have a look at how it, uh, the machine learning pipeline has been designed. And you can also navigate to the deployment to download the Linux uh, executable. Note that I'm still going to use the Edge Impulse Linux CLI to download the executable. And we provide we have examples uh, ready to go with the uh, Linux SDK in Python uh, that you can, well, we have, we'll have a look at those. So just clone the Linux, uh, the GitHub repository uh, that, where you, that you can find on github.com slash edgeable slash Linux dash SDK dash Python. And those contain several examples. I'm just going to show you how to use the classify.page, the dot .py, which will run the inference live. So I've already cloned the Linux Python SDK. So if I'm going to this, let me open a code editor. So this is going to be easier. So it's here. Let me zoom in a bit so you can have a better view. All right. <clears throat> so here in the classified pie, what it actually does, it just get your webcams. So I'm not going to uh, find that now. And it provide a command that you can use. Terminal. And you can run Python. So Python three in my case, classifier, classify, oh, I'm not in the right proper directory. So see the examples, images, 
you will need to download the model file.em, so edge the model executable. To do that, we'll still need, so edge impulse Linux runner, and you can download your model file.em and I'm going to restart. So my account is new demo, my password. And the model that I, uh, that I will use is called person detection and dash IoT central. So I'm just doing this. I'm downloading the model. So it will compile based on your operating system. So here I'm using a uh, Mac OS, but it's fully supported on uh, Linux x86 architectures. Now uh, the model file.am is here. So if I want to use this uh, script, I'm going to do Python 3 classified pi. So where is, so directly on the same model file and a camera. Here I've got several cameras to number one. So it's false zero million box. Not sure which camera I'm using. Okay. I'm using BS camera. So that's not the proper one. To use the number zero. Okay. It found bounding boxes. Now with the, only the outputs, it's not really clear of where is the bounding box. So if you set the show camera to true on the top of the script, it will open a window size where you can, uh, where you can directly see, uh, where the bounding box is. So that is great. Uh, that works pretty well. Now you can use that script to integrate that in a broader application. Note that we have also other examples. So if you want, for example, to classify a video that you've already got, so you just need to use a Python classify video the same way, and you just need to say the path of your video. What is interesting is here, what, what it does actually. So you just run an instance of image impulse runner, where you pass your model and then it will uh, be to run an object, an instance, and you can init your uh, model and then you can run your model using runner the get features from images. Then once you have the features, you can classify. So render the classify and you classify those features. That's great. This, this works, works pretty well. Now, what I wanted to show you as well is another example that I did for intrusion detection. So you can find it on, uh, github.com. So it's at, at the moment still on my GitHub. So Luis Omoro workshop intrusion detection. Let me go back. So I'm going to quit this. Uh, I'm going to so CD Get workshop inclusion detection. Let me open the code again. And so again, I'm going to uh, download the edge impulse model. So it's probably at the roots that I need to put it. Runner. Download. Model file. That is So how does this one work? Okay. So <clears throat> in here I've created a small web page. It's an index.html that will output the video stream and display some information. So if I'm doing Python 3.py, I'm just, I can't remember how the model file should be referenced here.
Okay, so it, I don't need to pass that as an argument. So I'm just going to use Python 3 app.py. And I can overview Okay, so it works exactly the same, but now you can integrate that in a, in a web page that it's fully read locally on your device. So here I'm having like an inference speed around, so one, like say one ten milliseconds. So frame, so I'm, that's about one ten frame per second ish, a bit less. Note that I'm still using the mobile net SSD FPN light on 320 by 320 images. So that's pretty greedy. What I'm also showing you uh, is also fully supported for FOMO. But here, if I'm moving and slightly delay. But anyway, this is how it, it works. You can now integrate that in a web page. Feel free to customize this uh, HTML uh, file. And yeah, happy discovery. That's it for me for today. If you have any questions, you can also reach us on forum.edgepools.com. We of the DevRel team spend a lot of time every day on the forum, so we'll be happy to get back to you there or directly by email uh, if needed. Thanks a lot for today. That was Louis, Louis Moreau from Edgepools as a, a senior developer relation. Thanks.